Long have we awaited this news, and I am delighted to deliver it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Marvel Rally. After an unusually dry summer, we return with the OG in terms of Marvel racing. Hi, I'm GW, I'm Greg Woods, as we look at some of the obstacles that await us in this course. Sand conditions, pretty good so far. Not a lot of wind either, weather about as nice as you could hope for. Our competitors are stoked. They've made it through the qualifiers. You'll notice there are 16 of them this year rather than 20. One of those is a newcomer starting from position eight. That is Amethyst. You'll also see the Ghost Marble, not to be confused, of course, with Ghost Plasma, that will be present this season. Released a couple of seconds after the marbles, it'll help to do a little cleanup duty. Off we go to kick off season six. We're glad that you are with us. Which of these marbles would be glad for the pathways they chose at the bottom of this race? It is Crazy Cat's Eye out in front. Reflector, Wisp of Darkness, Blizzard Blaster. A little gap back to another former champion. Oh, we've got somebody that careened off there. That was Crazy Cat's Eye. That was the leader. Off the course and out of the race. A four-time winner will not finish. My goodness, what a start to the season. A nightmare. We want to compete later. This is a good battle between Wisp of Darkness and Ghost Plasma. The second one, a former champion. The third place, a former champion, Super Ball. Amethyst, the newcomer, running in fourth. That's a nice showing. These helices can really mix things up. Which braid do you choose? Which one hindered you more? So far, it seems like everybody pretty dead even, but a nice move afterward by Ghost Plasma to take the lead, Super Ball. Comes into second place, Wisp of Darkness goes up front. Ghost Plasma claws it back. It's a nice battle between these top three marbles now. Very experienced, all three of them, but Amethyst wants to play a nice over-under move on Super Ball to take third place. Could the newcomer be looking at a rookie podium? Slimer back in fifth, Poyo Loco. We've got another lead change through that split. Ghost Plasma takes the top spot once more. Number of lead changes in this race going crazy. Slimer holding in fifth, as I was saying. Poyo Loco, Reflector, and Blizzard Blaster rounding up the top eight. Oh, the top two are side by side, but was that bottom lane slower? It appears so. Amethyst takes the lead covered in a fine film of sand. Ghost Plasma is right there, getting toward the bottom of this course, running out of space to overtake the newcomer. Wisp of Darkness battling with Ghost Plasma, who desperately wants to get by and does. They miss the speed boost across the line. The rookie wins. That has never happened. That a first timer wins the first race of the season. I suppose at least since the very first season when everybody was a newcomer. If that's not laying down the gauntlet, I don't know what is. Well, Amethyst takes the top spot. Ghost Plasma comes second, and Wisp of Darkness rounds out the podium. That, of course, is Amethyst's first win, which would make sense. Ghost Plasma, in the meantime, a very successful marble. 53 races before this one in the San Marble Rally. Two wins, 11 podiums, and a former champion back in 2016. That was the move that sent Crazy Cat's Eye well off the course. And some of these new look obstacles this season. I think we're going to make these marbles have some sleepless nights wondering what could await them in future races. Look at that red barrier. That's a brand new one there. That's a nasty trap. Did anybody trip it? I don't think they did. But if you do, oh, look at that leaf on there. Ghost Marble trying to push that one aside. Is that Lollipop well back there? Trailing even the Ghost Marble. Well, a lot of eyes were up front on Amethyst, and I think Wisp of Darkness and Ghost Plasma were a bit worried about each other for a while, wanting to get closer up front. Does this set the tone for the rest of the season? We hope you'll stick around and find out. Talk about setting the tone. In the first round of the sixth season, of the Marble Rally. We saw a newcomer win in the very first race, something that has never happened before, at least since the very first race of the Marble Rally. Amethyst, our winner over Ghost Plasma and Wisp of Darkness, but what will this race deal up for us today? Hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods. 
Starting lineup swapped compared to that first go around, giving all the marbles an equal number of front row, back row, left and right, and so on. We had one DNF in what was otherwise decent conditions for that first race, and several of those traps ensnared a few marbles and derailed their chances of winning. The question is how many will be trapped today? Down we go, choose your favorite, and it's Slimer out in the lead. Through this first trick, and a nice move there by red number three to get under that marble and take P1. Grasshopper in second, Slimer trying to regroup, but there's quite a few marbles that want to make a move right behind, including Silver Bolt, Lollipop, Super Bowl, he got two off! Two off right there, Ghost Plasma and Amethyst, two of our top two in the first race. Oh my goodness. There will be no repeat for Amethyst. Red number three, all that action happening behind. Also some action up at the front though as Slimer slings around the outside and takes the top spot. Cool Moody briefly moved up into fourth spot and has now lost positions. These splits, who will master them? Top lane versus bottom lane, and they stay about lockstep, Slimer and red number three do. Grasshopper and Silver Bolt. Grasshopper's closing up now, two, three lengths behind red number three. Super Bowl, another former champion, holding back there in sixth. Blizzard Blaster, Poyo Loco, really slow back and forth. Silver Bolt has come up to second place. Saving energy and choosing the right place to make the moves. Grasshopper is also trying to take advantage of red number three being slow through those very, very tight bits. Off that Chevron, a couple of harder hits there. Cool Moody has come up into third spot. Poyo Loco also trying to stay up there and does. Red number three is dropping back now to sixth spot. Slimer, Silver Bolt, Poyo Loco wants to challenge for that second position. Oh, closes the gate. Oh my goodness. That is one advantage of being up front. You can close that red gate. It may have happened so quickly you didn't even realize it, but it forced everybody else to take evasive action. That is a new twist in season six of the Marble Rally. Slimer on the straightaway, misses the speed boost. Here comes Silver Bolt to the side and gets the win by a hundredth of a second. Wow. That is one of the closest finishes ever in the Marble Rally. My goodness, look at that photo finish. That speed boost making all the difference that was a tremendous race. Three marbles back there. Cobra also launched off at some point. Ah, there you go. Not so much launched off as getting stuck. There was Ghost Plasma. And Amethyst, our winner from the first race, but Silver Bolt, Slimer, and Poyo Loco make up the podium this time. As we see how some of this went down early on, Silver Bolt just kind of biding time. Oh, there, okay, there you go. That is where the stoppage happened for Cobra. The Ghost Marble was able to help there. Nice around the outside move by Slimer to take the lead. This is where it really slowed down. Red number three struggled. Silver Bolt got by. Grasshopper would later get by. Ah, there's where the two of them went out. Another high on the wall. There's that Chevron. The marble's just careening right into it. That's, this is the trap door, by the way. Tripped it, and then look at everybody suddenly having to make that move. A couple of them handled it better than others, but this was definitive. Across the speed boost, in the draft, a bit of contact. Slimer tries to move over to the left to close that door, but it doesn't happen. And Silver Bolt goes up seven spots to claim that marble's first ever win in the Marble Rally. Congratulations to our winners. We'll see you next time. A couple of races in, and it seems like we've had a bit of everything so far. Several DNFs, a very first time winner on that marble's very first race, and a last gasp win by one hundredth of a second the last time out. Hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods. Yes, we're only on race three. Silver Bolt was that winner right at the end and leads the championship by one point, but you can see so many consistent marbles that the point spread is not very wide, even though we're just a couple of races in, of course. Lineup has been changed. Conditions different than what we saw in the first two races. Quite a bit more sun up here on the starting gate than what we've had prior. But who will be seeing the sun at the bottom of the course? Who will cross that line first? We are off.
Oh, Grasshopper was in a good position, lost a bunch of spots, and is now trying to recover as these marbles splay out wide. Duct Tape did have it briefly, then Slimer has now taken the lead, and that was the leader at the beginning of our last race. Duct Tape now recovered into second place. Ghost Plasma, who was a DNF last time. Oh! We've got Reflector, Wisp of Darkness, and Cobra, who have gotten stuck. We're hearing that perhaps the Ghost Marble has gotten Cobra going again. That is kind of the opposite of what we saw last time. The Ghost Marble did not get Cobra going, and that Marble DNF. All right, Slimer, oh, lost the lead on that one. That was a great move. You could see it setting up. The speed was building, and so too could be the move for the overtake here. But Amethyst decides to throw a wrench in the works. Amethyst, our winner in the very first race, this is the first season in the Marble Rally. A lot of marbles opting to that low side, quite a few opting to get caught in that turnstile. Over that bridge, a couple almost lipped out. Duct tape holding the lead over Ghost Plasma, but they are one length apart. As they weave their way through the slaloms, back and forth they come. Crazy Cat's Eye. Oh, Pollo Loco got stuck. And we're also hearing that the Ghost Marble is stuck. So there will be no cleanup if you get lodged somewhere. Ah, oh, look at that, just off to the right side of the screen. Ghost Plasma did a nice juke move and has taken the top spot back. Hard off of that sign, oh my goodness. Whoa, who was that that came diving in there? Was that Cool Moody? Jeez, with a full head of steam. Now right behind Slimer in eighth spot. That gained quite a few positions, but running out of time here to challenge for the lead. It's Ghost Plasma out in front of Duct Tape. Crazy Cat's Eye back there. Silver Bolt, Amethyst, Slimer, Red Number Three, and Cool Moody. That's a good move there to get by briefly. Across the line comes Ghost Plasma and cruises to a one second win over Duct Tape. But that was an eventful race farther back. And we had quite a few marbles that did not finish. Three of them plus the Ghost Marble. But it is a former champion who wins race number three. There's that trio that is stuck up there. There's Reflector, Wisp of Darkness, and the Ghost Marble. There is Pollo Loco. Made it a bit farther down the course and is classified ahead of everybody else. But our podium, Ghost Plasma, Duct Tape, and Silver Bolt rounding it out here. This was a close one from the start. So many lead changes right away. That wide avenue, that long boulevard, did a lot to stratify these marbles and change positions over and over again. Look at how close they all were at this point too, bumping up against the wall. This was a dangerous point. If you were not careful, you could just launch right over that wall. It could spell disaster. Keeping momentum, but arresting speed when necessary. A lot of the marbles do preach that as being the key for keeping going in this coarse medium of the Sand Marble Rally. Oh, here you see how Super Bowl being swung back and forth after that hard hit from Silver Bolt. Whoa, backwards and then forward again. Last gas move, just as I was calling that win across the line, Ghost Plasma's third win in the Marvel Rally. How will this season progress? We hope that you will subscribe and find out. Thanks for watching, everyone. What a Marvel Rally season we have had so far. As we reach race number four, who will be able to conquer what promises to be a very difficult course in less than ideal sand conditions? Hey, everybody. I'm Greg Woods. We've had some great finishes, some wonderful come from behind. Oh, we've got insects crawling on the marbles right now, so we have a bit of a delay down at the starting gate. Race control will hold the competitors. You also noticed, aside from that three out of five sand condition, a headwind that they will be diving into as they work their way down this sand hill. Last race out, Ghost Plasma came from a DNF in round two to a win in round three, but will be starting in 16th position here, Cobra has that number one spot and will have a straightaway at the start. Will it help though? And we are off. A nice jump out by Reflector as the field stays pretty close together right now. That's a big lead. And look at who's already up into second spot. That's Ghost Plasma trying to do the double. Contact between the leaders. And Reflector keeps Ghost Plasma behind for now.
Also keeping everybody behind is the winner of race number one, that's Amethyst. Blizzard Blaster is out, and the Ghost Marble is out. We're hearing that the two may have come together, even after Blizzard Blaster got stuck. There's the move for the lead, and Ghost Plasma retakes P1. That is, for the first time this race, at least. Amethyst holding on to third spot in front of Duct Tape. There's Lollipop. Oh, there's a move right there. Lollipop briefly got by, but then fell back behind into fifth spot. Crazy Cat's Eye, who had a wonderful come from behind in the last race, working the way up the order. Poyo Loco, Wisp of Darkness. There you see Marbles going split side by side. These top two are close. And Reflector takes the lead once more as they slalom back and forth. Duct Tape is now into third spot and is two corners behind. Oh, Lollipop is out. Race Control says, oh, and now red number three is out. We've had DNFs in every single race so far this season. That continues in round four, and red number three's disastrous season slogs on. Reflector, Ghost Plasma missing the speed boost, but plowing into that wall rather solidly. That was a good over-under move by Super Ball under breaking. Crazy Cat's Eye falls to eighth spot. Oh, that was a solid impact right there. Oh, and somebody else goes out. That was when we got three of them at the same time. Wisp of Darkness, Crazy Cat's Eye, and Grasshopper. They all careened off of this course. As we focus on the lead, Cobra has also gone out. Ghost Plasma retakes the top spot, and there's too much going on to narrate. Cobra is back moving again. Looking at the finish line, Ghost Plasma makes it two in a row. Another victory, Reflector comes third, and Duct Tape rounds out the podium. This was busy. There's the victory. Six DNFs, that's almost half of the racers, did not make it to the bottom of this course. We knew the sand conditions weren't great. The headwinds may have also dropped some marbles off of their intended lines. Look at that trio right there. Only 10 finishers, and that does not include the ghost marble. Look at that, plugged right behind Blizzard Blaster. Ghost Plasma, the first back-to-back -back in Marble Rally history. And from the get-go, look at how far back Ghost Plasma was right there. How did that marble get all the way up front? It was crafty moves, it was patience. That was the door being left wide open by Reflector there, who did get the lead back eventually, but was unable to hold it through to the end across that bridge. That is where the move was made. Could not stay there. Oh, somebody dropped right through that hole in the bridge. Couldn't tell who that was. Oh, that was a hard hit. I mentioned that earlier. That is uh, perhaps adding insult to injury on that one, just squarely into that chevron, not on either side of it. This was the definitive move. Once again, a better exit out of that corner, and Ghost Plasma becomes the new leader of the standings, the third marble athlete to reach 500 points in marble rally history. Congratulations to Ghost Plasma. The tantalizing battle at the top of the leaderboard is only getting closer as we near the halfway post in the sixth season of the Marble Rally. Hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods. Sand conditions and weather much better than what we had in the previous race, which saw quite a few DNFs and a repeat winner. Ghost Plasma has been on a tear, except for a DNF in round two, never finished lower than second so far in four races. This time starting in the back right in 16th position for a course that promises to give them shades of what the last course was, but hopefully we get a few more finishers this time down. And off they go, and it's red number three getting a nice jump out of the gate in front of Lollipop and Slimer. Crazy Cat's Eye is right there, and I believe that is Reflector, that purplish marble, who now falls backward. Oh, look at everybody jumbling for position right there. That's Ghost Plasma already up, and Lollipop does a nice over-under to take the lead. That was aggressive. Crazy Cat's Eye holding second place, and then those two red marbles now fall back behind Reflector, that purplish marble. Duct Tape, Silver Bolt, Poyo Loco all up there in the mix. Look at how wide this section is. Oh, and man, that was a dive bomb move. Awesome. And Crazy Cat's Eye goes up into the top spot. Red number three holding second in front of the two-time winner trying to make it three in a row, Ghost Plasma. Shades of that initial season of racing, and there it is. Red number three actually was almost stuck there, but has gotten going again. Some help by Super Bowl 
but Ghost Plasma took the lead and has lost it. That upper line is quick though, and exits in the lead. Well, there's a leaf on the track, everybody navigating around it fairly cleanly. Reflector now into third spot in front of Silver Bolt, red number three, Lollipop. Pollo Loco goes up into sixth, and Duct Tape back there in eighth. Ghost Plasma, a 10, 15 length lead over Crazy Cat's Eye as we enter the final third of this course. Amethyst briefly enters the top eight there. You can see Super Bowl just off to the right side of the screen. Oh, it was a dangerous marble. Oh, so is that drop. That is dangerous. And it catches Ghost Plasma. It shrinks the lead, but does not erase it. Silver Bolt looking for second spot, trying to catch that draft from Crazy Cat's Eye. Ghost Plasma trying to get a three-peat which has never been done in the Marble Rally. Crazy Cat's Eye has something to say about that. Coming through these final few corners, the lead is not shrinking, but Ghost Plasma slowing to a crawl, trying to stay in the middle of the course and keep it off the walls. Over the bridge, catches the speed boost and does it. Ghost Plasma, that's a hat trick, three in a row. What dominant performances we have seen from Ghost Plasma this season. My goodness, navigated that beautifully. And that was from position 16, by the way. That's the second race in a row, or at least two of the last three, if I remember correctly, that that, that marble has won from 16. Hey, and look at this, everybody finished. Six lead changes, 131 overtakes in the top eight. I believe that is a record as well. This was a remarkable race. Red number three had the point, lost it there to Lollipop. Ghost Plasma, what a start though. Come from 16th and already get there into fourth spot by the time we saw that very first highlight. This wide boulevard, look at that move, that was wonderful keeping the speed up, going around the outside to take that lead for Crazy Cat's Eye. But Ghost Plasma saw the opportunity right there. Red number three got stuck. And lost chance to win the race, perhaps. Also Grasshopper briefly getting hung up. Who Moody back there in last, not used to that position. There was the contact between the leaders after Ghost Plasma hit that hole in the bridge was able to keep going, expertly navigated. 77 points, that's 15 clear of second place. And wow, we still have half the season to go, but if it continues like this, Ghost Plasma is in fine form, but will it yield a championship? As we reach the second half of the Marble Rally season, all focus has turned to stopping Ghost Plasma. This marble, a runaway in the championship thus far, three victories in a row. The question is, who will be the first in this stretch to dethrone the former champion? Hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods. Well, better sand conditions this time than what we've had in the past at least. Perfect weather, no wind that may knock the marbles off of some of their pathways working down this course. The tracks this season have proven to be challenging, but that is exactly what we want out of the best marble athletes in the world. Ghost Plasma in the random draw got the starting spot number one dead center, but will it pay off? We'll have to see. Obviously getting out to a pretty good lead here, but Wisp of Darkness is in a battle with Super Bowl who gets by, oh, Cool Moody. Nicely done. Getting by into second place, but loses out. It's Super Bowl and Ghost Plasma as they come through that hard left. Oh, Reflector straight through the wall and out of the race. No collection by the Ghost Marble on that one. That marble is out. Ghost Plasma leads the way. Super Ball, Pollo Loco, Amethyst, Cool Moody, Grasshopper, Wisp of Darkness, and Red Number Three. We've got a challenge for the lead. And as I say that, Super Ball gets by. The defending champion passed the former champion, who is looking for four in a row. Not if Super Ball has anything to say about that. Oh, the Ghost Marble is out. That's an interesting development. So your safety net is gone. Cool Moody running a nice third position, by the way. Oh, Wisp of Darkness is out after running in the top two. That is the third time in six races that Wisp of Darkness will not finish. Super Ball, look at that lead. And this is exactly what Super Ball wants. 
Ghost Plasma to get caught in a battle for the podium positions. Grasshopper is up there seesawing back and forth. Cool Moody gets by, albeit briefly. Even Silver Bolt, who has been running well occasionally, is up there. Over the bridge, will anybody get caught? Oh, and Ghost Plasma, it happens again. Ghost Plasma catches that trap in the middle of the bridge. Doesn't stop completely, but it does slow momentum. Grasshopper is putting together a nice final sector of this race, closing in on Super Bowl. Both of them at the last second decide to take the upper line. They are still lockstep. A two marble race. Grasshopper closes right up, Super Bowl defending. And that move may have just made it work for the end of this race. Look at this battle farther back, not across that little chute and the speed boost. Super Bowl will finally stop the march of Ghost Plasma. Super Bowl wins, first win of the season. And that coming from fifth position, not terribly far back. Grasshopper holds second, Cool Moody will get third in front of Ghost Plasma. We also had duct tape go out of this race. Blizzard Blaster fifth, ah, there you see. Went straight through there, that was our first retirement of the day. It would not be the last. Super Bowl, Grasshopper, and Cool Moody stand on the podium and begin to cut into that lead by Ghost Plasma at the top of the standings. This was a chaotic start. And that was the move to get second place. Super Bowl over Cool Moody. Farther back here. Oh, there we saw just to the inside. That's where Reflector went out. This wide boulevard. Did anybody make contact in the middle there? Oh, yes, indeed, they did. Farther down, that was a nice late breaking move to get by. And this was such a wide margin, but here was that battle that allowed Super Bowl to stretch off into the distance. There is Ghost Plasma catching that hole on the bridge. Several other marbles did too. None of the leaders at least fell through it. This was the definitive moment of the final stretch. This battle back and forth, wonderful defending by Super Bowl. Oh, there's red number three getting by and making up some positions as well after it's been a pretty poor season for Red Number 3, sitting back there in 13th spot. Super Bowl does jump three up into second place, but is still 18 points behind Ghost Plasma as the March for a Championship continues. Could it be here in Race 7 that we start to see quite a few marbles being eliminated in their hunt for the championship? In less than ideal conditions, with a moderate headwind and a difficult course ahead, who will survive to the end and keep their championship hopes alive. Hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods. This is a similar track in some ways to what we saw in races three and four, but it has been modified a bit and these conditions are worrying both race directors and the marbles. This headwind, last time we saw one of those really, threw these competitors for a loop. In the blocks and ready to go, how will they fare this time? Oh, Ghost Plasma, last out of the gate, but does make up. Silver Bolt up front with Slimer, who goes around the outside, but loses the lead. That's Pollo Loco. Look at this, Slimer comes back. Pollo Loco tries coming back. The lead is changing by the instant. Silver Bolt, seven lead changes in 10 seconds. That is incredible. And an already fast track that is building up here. This, an incredibly long straightaway. There's duct tape, managing very well. If you stay off the walls and keep that momentum going like Cool Moody right there, getting by Pollo Loco, it will pay dividends. Here comes duct tape. Here comes Cool Moody. They're trying to chase down the leader, Silver Bolt. And the lead is evaporating. Slimer being left in the dust, but still so much of this race to go. Working around that left-hander, now seesawing back and forth. Silver Bolt and duct tape are keeping that momentum high, duct tape gets the lead change. Silver Bolt holds second place, Cool Moody, oh, red number three is out. Disastrous season continues for the legend. These two pathways, oh, cause Cool Moody to stop. Amethyst is also out. And those were two extremely different paths that ended up making quite a difference here in who came out in the lead. But now, back to the marbles themselves. Can they close this down? It is Silver Bolt still up front. Oh, there goes Silver Bolt! There goes Cool Moody as well! 
The leaders are out. Pollo Loco has crashed. There is drama happening as Slimer takes the lead in a battle with Duct Tape. Duct Tape gets it back. As they come to the turnstile, Slimer gets the lead. And look at that, oh my gosh, did you see that? The Ghost Marble was in the top eight for a moment. This is chaos in the Marble Rally. Over that bridge, Slimer with a 10 length lead over Duct Tape, Lollipop, Crazy Cat's Eye, who had a wonderful race last time out, even though we barely got to talk about it. Speed Boost, Slimer will hold on with a climactic finish behind and quite a few marbles that were out of this race. Well, even though that was only two minutes of action, they crammed a lot into those 120 plus seconds. All of the incidents and at the end of it, Slimer picks up their fifth win. Well, how do you characterize the anarchy that was the middle part of that course? Heck, the Ghost Marble was running in the top 10 for a while. We'd already lost red number three. You see Amethyst getting caught on that turnstile right there. And then we had our leaders begin to shoot their way off of the course, making it through Slimer, Duct Tape, and Lollipop. They make out the podium, and it was frenetic from the get-go. All of these lead changes, three, four, marbles taking their positions up front and their turns leading this race. Back there, upper part of your screen, oh, red number three might have had some help getting launched off of the course there. Silverbolt well out in front, perhaps just lost concentration for a moment and went straight in a difficult part of the course that also would go on to catch Cool Moody and a few others. There goes Pollo Loco. My goodness. This track alternated between the fast and the need to be pinpoint accurate. Here at the turnstile, marbles bounding their way through it. And what did this do for the overall championship? Well, sure enough, three at the bottom are not able to win. Ghost Plasma holds the lead over Super Bowl with just a couple of events to go. Elimination was the word of the day for race seven here in the Marble Rally, and we meant that both for championship order and also for Marbles finishing the race. It was a tricky one, and conditions for round eight have not improved all that much. Hey, everybody. I'm Greg Woods. Three at the bottom are eliminated from championship contention, but with a few rounds to go, there are still many Marbles that will be jockeying for position to try to make that run at the championship. Wisp of Darkness draws a very nice starting position, front and center there, near Lollipop and Cobra. Crazy Cat's Eye, Silver Bolt, Duct Tape in the lower positions. Ball bearing on its way down, and we are underway in race eight of the Marble Rally. It is Pollo Loco out in front, Cool Moody, that second yellow marble, holding off Lollipop in front of Amethyst, Super Ball, Grasshopper, Wisp of Darkness, and Crazy Cat's Eye. Wisp of Darkness did not get away very well. Cool Moody is also funneling its way back in the order. Now down in fifth spot, that is Amethyst, the newcomer and the winner of the very first race of the season. Now holding second place, Super Bowl, a former champion, is in the draft and gets by for P2. Coming around the outside, Amethyst fights back. They're trading back and forth, and this speed boost coming from that battle, perhaps, or maybe even from some complacency by Pollo Loco. Sees that lead shrinking up front. It is one length between the top two. They speed up around that left-hander. They come together, contact between them multiple times. Too narrow to make a move there. Can't get it done under braking either. Oh, Grasshopper got stuck. And it looks like red number three has dislodged that marble. And they are going again. Super Bowl gets hung up on the turnstile. But is the top lane the faster way around? Pollo Loco being hounded by Amethyst. Oh, Ghost Plasma and Blizzard Blaster. We are hearing got stuck at that turnstile as well. That wooden spinner has caught out a few marbles over the course of this season. Pollo Loco leading Amethyst. Super Bowl trying to mount that comeback. Wisp of Darkness has recovered our pole sitter. Now in fourth spot. Lollipop, Duct Tape, Crazy Cat's Eye, Grasshopper rounding out the top eight. Pollo Loco briefly glances that speed boost. Amethyst follows suit. Top three marbles through that split. Who's going to hit off of that arrow? And quite a few make solid contact. Pollo Loco and Amethyst are away cleanly. 
Amethyst got started in the fourth spot. Oyo Loco in the fifth. Oh, and some stratification going over that wooden shoot back there. Crazy Cat's Eye, Super Ball, Lollipop, trading positions. Slimer, a former winner, gets up into the top eight. Looking at the finish line, Oyo Loco will cruise across. Nearly two seconds clear of the rookie Amethyst. Crazy Cat's Eye rounds out the podium. Super Ball in fourth. What did this do to the championship order? We had 13 lead changes in the last race. In this one, we had uh, zero. That's right. <laughs> Quite a difference. But I think these marbles, given the conditions, are fine with that. Maybe some protectionism, trying to make sure that they don't have a DNF like those two and get their hopes at a title dashed. Wait for the bean counters to give us the total numbers as the top three celebrate on the podium in the meantime. Here was the start. I suppose you could say there was maybe a brief lead change there. Super Bowl might have been a nose ahead, but Pollo Loco controlled this from the start. Super Bowl mounted a wonderful challenge, but was unable to get by. Watch Grasshopper, that green marble right here. Solid impact stops all momentum. Several competitors get around and then red number three dislodges. That stuck marble. Oh, there was hesitation in that bottom lane with Poyo Loco. It wasn't enough to change the lead. Oh, Super Ball. Met that arrow. Uh, spent some time getting acquainted. There was Wisp of Darkness getting a bump from Lollipop. Here was that bridge where a couple of them, I think, hit that middle arrow. Kind of went back and forth. Yeah, Lollipop was knocked astray was able to keep going, but this was an interesting course that thankfully we didn't see quite as many DNFs. And look at this, Pollo Loco actually didn't even climb the standings. Red number three has dropped to dead last. We do have several more up through ninth are eliminated. Only the top eight can win the championship in the final two rounds. Unpredictability has been the name of the game so far this season in the Marble Rally, but the championship with two races to go is tightening up front. Hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods. Ghost Plasma's lead over Super Bowl is just seven points. Slimer and Duct Tape close behind. Only the top eight in the championship right now can win the title at the end of the season, although some farther back behind can still make a move for the podium. Who will be eliminated today and who will keep their championship hopes alive? Decent sand conditions and decent weather conditions as well with just a slight crosswind for this 106 meter track. Slimer, who sits third in the championship, has that coveted pole position. As you see, Super Bowl in 16th place, Ghost Plasma in 13th. Did you know, by the way, that 60% of our viewers are not subscribed to this channel? Please subscribe. Stay tuned for the fourth season of Marvel One and for the upcoming Marvel League. The Ghost Marvel taking its time getting us launched here, but we are finally underway. And it did not work that way into the first corner, but coming out of the first corner, Reflector holds the lead over red number three. Crazy Cat's Eye, Slimer, Blizzard Blaster, Amethyst, Pollo Loco, and Duct Tape trading spots back there. And the lead changes as well. Crazy Cat's Eye dueling with Reflector back and forth at a momentary lead change. This is a tight start to this course. Red number three holding in third spot in what has otherwise been a dismal season. Crazy Cat's Eye trying to eye up Reflector to get around and does. Goes around the outside for that move. That was nice. Boyo Loco up into fourth. Blizzard Blaster, Duct Tape, Slimer. Back in seventh spot after starting at pole position. Amethyst, who won the very first race this season as a rookie. He's back up into the top eight. Crazy Cat's Eye navigating that sharp left-hander. Pollo Loco in second place now, trying to fend off red number three, who gets by into P2. Reflector falling back to fourth, but in one corner, gets it all back. Loses it on that short straight as they come past that turnstile for the first time. Through these helices. Oh, Reflector was carrying quite a bit of speed through that line. Didn't gain many positions, however. Oh, Silver Bolt, we are seeing, is out of this race. The only DNF. So, oh, Ghost Plasma is out. Oh, that's a big one. Ghost Plasma, the leader in the championship, is out of this race. Super Bowl, almost on cue, shows up in the top eight. You can see just on the right side of the screen there. Close enough that we could get a couple more positions from Super Bowl. Oh, and look at that Slimer. That was a nice move to get up into second. 
Slimer is actually in a good position here as well. Don't discount that marble. A nice points haul here, especially if Super Ball stays in that position or maybe drops one. That could have Super Ball climbing to the top spot. Terrible, terrible timing for Ghost Plasma. But this race is not done. Missing that speed boost was Duct Tape. Slimer caught it. Oh, but can't make the move there. Another speed boost here. In the meantime, Crazy Cat's Eye crosses the finish line and wins the race. Their first victory of the season. The fifth win in the Marble Rally for Crazy Cat's Eye. So Slimer did hold on. Oh, look at that photo finish there. Wow, Wisp of Darkness just barely ahead of Lollipop. And Duct Tape gets second place over Slimer. Blizzard Blaster, Reflector, Red number three, Amethyst, Super Ball holds in eighth spot. It's down the order just enough the door may be open for Super Ball as the bean counters get to work. Pull out that abacus. We take a look back at the start. Look how far behind Reflector was. And then that is an incredible inside move to take first. That was wonderful. It set up Reflector for a good chunk of the first half of this race. That was that outside move. That was a master class right there to get around. All of that jostling back there, that was a difficult W-shaped section. Oh, and back there, there's Ghost Plasma on the right side of the screen. Just got caught out with no momentum at all. Came to a stop, the Ghost Marble unable to get that one going. So the leader is out and is no longer the leader. Super Ball. One point ahead of Ghost Plasma, who is tied with Slimer. Oh my goodness, that is the tiniest gap possible. And this could set up one amazing finish in the Marble Rally. The tiniest gap between the top three ever. Six racers, one champion, who will come out on top. See you for the final race. Every Marble season has its twists and turns, designed to root out the pretenders and let the contenders rise to the top. Appropriately here in the sixth season of the Marble Rally, we have six marbles who are eligible to win the championship going into the final round in what is the longest race course since round 12 of the very first Marble Rally season back in 2016. Hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods. 60% of our viewers are not subscribed to this channel. Click that button and click the bell to be notified of the upcoming Marble One season four and the 2023 Marble League. There you see our six competitors in green. Super Bowl up front in a prime position, starting dead center. Who will survive this long course to become champion of the Marble Rally? We are off, down they go. Oh, and Super Bowl is already out. Super Bowl, DNF in the final round, the championship leader. Oh, that changes everything. Oh, several marbles getting really high there, but so far that is the only DNF. My goodness. Super Ball is distraught, beached, and is unable to continue. Now this works very well for some of these marbles that are outside contenders. The likes of Crazy Cat's Eye, who must win this race and have Super Ball finish lower than 13th. Well, that's gonna happen. And needs Ghost Plasma to finish down there as well. Duct Tape also, kind of on the outside of that, has to get a win or a second place and have Ghost Plasma finish off the podium or farther down. Same thing with Amethyst. Needs some help there. Needs a double-digit finish by Ghost Plasma now that Super Ball is out. Up front, red number three. Grasshopper in second place in front of Silver Bolt. Amethyst and Slimer, two of those championship contenders. There's a nice move by Grasshopper to take the lead. Lollipop, Cobra in seventh, Ghost Plasma in eighth, which means that double-digit finish is not gonna happen, at least as it stands right now, for Amethyst. Super Bowl had it all to play for. This championship standing so tight up front, one point separating the top three, just four points from the top down to duct tape in fourth. Another 10 back to Amethyst. This is tight. Up front, oh, Crazy Cat's Eye is out. And Ghost Plasma is out. Wisp of Darkness also exits the course. What is happening? Crazy Cat's Eye cannot win the championship. 
Super Bowl is out. Oh, there's another marble stuck. Was that red number three? Red number three is caught immobile. This is a dastardly course that is catching so many of these marbles out. Now, Amethyst is running up there. Needs a win or a second place to claim the championship. Super Bowl and Ghost Plasma are out. Cool Moody is out. Oh, but now back in. And the Ghost Marble is out. Anybody else that gets stranded, it looks like we're going to have another one. Well, the Ghost Marble is back in, we're finding. All right, so Amethyst is in second place right now, but look at Slimer. Slimer has something to play in this as well. The highest running championship order, Marble is Slimer in third place. And right now, Slimer would be the champion. Slimer has one win this season in the Marble Rally. Amethyst has dropped back to sixth. It is Slimer's championship to lose at this point. Grasshopper leads the race. Lollipop in second place. Slimer, Silver Bolt, Reflector, Amethyst, Duct Tape, and Cool Moody, who was out momentarily and is now somehow back in the top eight, as Cool Moody does. A couple of corners left to go. Grasshopper charging for the win, but Slimer has gone one win in the last three races, then finished third in the previous round. Oh, look at this! Lollipop gets the win, but Slimer comes across, and that is all that is needed for a championship in the Marble Rally. With two wins on the season and six career, Slimer is the season six champion of the Marble Rally. Ghost Plasma does not even finish in the top three. Three DNFs in the last three races, that coming after a hat trick of wins earlier this year. What a slide down the order for Ghost Plasma. But wow, vindication for Slimer, who started in 16th. Watch here at the very beginning, there was so much going on. There was the move that Grasshopper got to take the lead. Let's see, we're gonna see some DNFs here. Oh, watch the leaf. This is such a treacherous course. Oh, there you go, there's one of them. And it seems like there were several others following right behind. Oh yeah, there goes Ghost Plasma, there goes Wisp of Darkness. Here's the turn style, did that catch somebody out as well? Oh man, a lot of impacts there. Oh, Cool Moody and the Ghost Marble. Seesawing back and forth, there's where Red Number Three got caught. And the speed boost made all the difference for Lollipop coming across the line. Now let's applaud our new champion of this season, Slimer, who also now becomes the racer with the most points in Marble Rally history. Congratulations to that Marble as everything comes to an end. So also as this season of the Marble Rally. But don't worry, Marble One Season 4 will be coming soon, as will Marble League 2023. Thank you so much for watching what has been a wonderfully fun season. So long, everyone.